Good day everyone, in this tutorial video, we're going to evaluate limits. So let's have our first example. Limit of x squared plus x over 2 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So in evaluating limits, check if our function or check if the function or if our given function uh, can be written into simplest form. So in this case, we have the x squared plus x minus 2 all over x minus 1. So let us check using uh, factoring or factoring techniques if our numerator and denominator or if we have the same expression that can cancel out. So we have x squared plus x over 2, a uh, minus 2 all over x minus 1. Using factoring, your lesson when you were in grade 8, so let us factor this one. So we have x and x. Now, this is a trinomial. So we have positive 2 and negative 1. So our technique get the factors of our constant, the factors of constant, because this is a prime number, so negative 2 times 1, or simply negative 1 times 2. That's the only factors of negative 2. So to check, neg uh, positive 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2, then positive 2 pl plus negative 1, that is positive 1, or simply positive x. So, these factors are correct, so all over x minus 1. Now, we can cancel out x minus 1 in our numerator and x minus 1 in our denominator. So, that is equal to x plus 2. Okay? Now, we can rewrite our given as, that is equal to the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 1 because the value of this is just equal to x plus 2 okay now let us use our theorems to find the value of the limit to evaluate the limit so sum or difference rule that is equal to limit of x as x approaches 1 plus limit of 2 as x approaches 1 using the previous theorems or that is uh, theorem 2 in this case so that is equal to 1 plus theorem 1 we have our constant and that is equal to 1 plus 2 which is 3 now let us apply the limit of polynomial function because this is a polynomial We're just going to substitute our a. So we have x plus 2. So substitute, we have a here. 1 plus 2, that is equal to. So they are the same. So the value of this is equal to 3. That is our first example. Let's have another one. Now let's have our second example. The limit of quantity x minus 2 raised to 2 minus 4 all over x as x approaches 0. So in evaluating our first step, check if our function is in simplest form. So let us first simplify our function. That is x, x minus 2 raised to 2 minus 4 all over x. We can simplify our numerator. So x minus 2 raised to 2, that is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 2. Or you can use our shortcut to simplify that one. 
So let us use the foil method. So x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 2, so negative 2x. Negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. Now we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Then minus 4, just copy, all over our denominator x. Again, the value of x minus 2 raised to 2 is x squared minus 4x plus 4. We just copy negative 4 here. Now, simplify. That will be 0. So we have x squared minus 4x all over x. We can still simplify this one. Factor. So we have common factor. We have x. Now we have x squared divided by x. So that is x. Negative 4x divided by x. That is negative 4. All over. Denominator is x. So cancel, cancel. So the value of the function is x minus 4. So we can write this as the limit of x minus 4 as x approaches 0. Now we can use our theorems to find or to evaluate the limit. So we have sum or difference rule that is equal to limit of x as x approaches 0 minus limit of 4 as x approaches 0. So we have theorem 2 that is 0 minus theorem 1, 4. And that is 0 minus 4, that is negative 4. So this is using our theorems. Now let us use the limit of polynomial function because x minus 4 is a polynomial. So we're just going to treat this as a function. So substitute, we have 0 minus 4, and that is negative 4, which is the same. That is on how to evaluate limits. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.